Hey guys, it's me Sylvia back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna be doing a full face makeup tutorial using products that YouTubers have made either in collaboration with brands or they've just made their own makeup line. I think this will be a really cool way to do a makeup tutorial but with a little twist. The fact that I was even able to just casually find a bunch of products for each step of my makeup routine that YouTubers have made is like insane. It just shows how far the beauty industry has come in like accepting YouTubers and working with us and things like that and I think it's so dope. So let's see what type of makeup look we can come up with using these products and if they're even any good or not. <laughs> but before we get started, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. You don't wanna miss the two videos that I drop a week. Join my S Club by hitting that subscribe button. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. So for primer, I have the Smashbox Nicole Concilio collab. This is the Photo Finish Primer Water in Serene Greens. She came out with a few scents of this, I believe. And I already love the original Smashbox primer water so I was really excited about this it's just very hydrating and I feel like preps your skin really really well it's not gonna give you that blurring effect or like fill in pores or anything like that but it just feels like it's like a drink of water for your skin and the serene greens smells so good it smells like cucumber which I love but I usually just spray it on I find it so quick too so when I'm in a rush I will always usually just spray on one of the smashbox primer waters and then I'll just tap it in and it does have a little bit of a tackiness to it so I find it does keep your foundation on really nicely but I just think like it gives your skin this really nice glow I have just been a fan of the primer waters so I was really happy when Nicole collabed with them so I love the new scents so for foundation I found it very difficult to find a foundation that a youtuber came out with and made themselves and all that I feel like brands don't usually collab with people on foundations maybe just it's too hard to nail I don't know but then I remembered that Jackie Ina recently worked with Too Faced to expand the Born This Way foundation shade range and so I'm like hmm That'll count. So let's just go ahead and use that. If you guys have been watching my videos, you know this is one of my all-time favorite foundations. So I've already talked about it a bunch. So I'll just apply that everywhere with a beauty blender. If you don't know, this foundation is more medium to full coverage depending on how much you apply. And I just love this foundation. I feel like it never gets cakey. It always looks really natural, but it still gives you the full coverage that you may need to cover up pimples, imperfections, anything like that. And I think Jackie did an amazing job expanding the shade range from what I saw like the shade range is massive now so so next up we have concealer and for concealer I'm gonna use the no flaws cream concealer from the brand called collab and this brand I recently discovered they're in Sally beauty stores and so the whole brand is just a group of influencers that work together to make these different products I recently tried a bunch of their products out in my testing Sally beauty makeup video but we'll go ahead and wear it again because I haven't tried it since that video it's a cream stick concealer which I normally don't reach to Words, but it will give you a very natural finish if you really like that in a concealer and for a cream concealer It's very lightweight, which is nice, but I actually really like the formula of this one My only thing is the shade of this is literally the same thing as my foundation I usually go a shade lighter. So the concealer is completely on. I love the way it looks very natural It has like a satin finish on my under eye I find it doesn't crease that much and all the products that I tried from collab from what I remember I really liked and they're a pretty affordable brand. So to set my concealer, I have a collab with Patrick Star and MAC Cosmetics. This setting powder is so good, honey boo boo. It is very, very good. I think everyone was so pleasantly surprised because a lot of the times setting powders are very hard to nail. They give flashback. They can give you like a ghostly layer, but this is just very finely milled and it was the talk of the town. And I'm hoping, I feel like a lot of other people are also hoping that they will bring it back as permanent just because it's such a good setting powder. And honestly, it's better than the MAC setting powder that is permanent. That one gives crazy flashbacks. I remember when I used to do makeup on clients when I worked there, I could never really use it because if they were taking pictures with that makeup on, it would give crazy flashback. MAC, honestly, replace your permanent setting powder with this because it's so much better. And honestly, all the collections that Patrick has come out with with MAC have been so good. And I'll also go in with one of the products from his newest collection with them. It is Give Me Life Bronzing Powder. Look how cute the packaging is. And let's just go in with that bronzer right under the cheekbones. I like the formula of this because it builds really slowly so it makes it much easier to get a more natural application. That's really how you can tell if a bronzer is good is if it goes on really smoothly and builds slowly and you're not getting any patchiness or any streakiness that is hard to blend away. So the formula of this bronzer is great. I think it just would depend on what your skin tone is if it would work for you. But I really like it because the formula is bomb and the color works for my skin tone. So I'm also going to just 
bronze up my forehead with that. Also, this bronzer is completely matte. So next up, let's apply some blush. And this product I have not yet tried. It is the collab with Ava Gutowski. I think that's how you pronounce your last name. And ColourPop. It's the Mermaid Glow Face Duo. So she has a blush and also a really pretty gold highlight in there. So we're only gonna go in with the blush because I have another product I wanna try for the highlight. But this blush shade is beautiful. That's usually what I lean towards is more like peachy. <gasps> I feel like I put a little bit too much. Maybe I can just blend it away. It's also very, very matte. I feel like this is a perfect shade for my skin tone. It's very subtle and it looks very natural. So blush is completely on. I love the formula. Honestly, ColourPop products in general are usually hits for me, which is a really big statement to say because obviously every brand has some crappy products. But for the most part, I do love ColourPop and I think it's bomb that they are always working with YouTubers. So a huge congratulations to Ava because I really love the blush in here. Let's watch the highlight so you guys can see. Like the formulas never fail and for such an affordable price, you know it's a hit. So now let's brush away the baking powder. It's so finely milled that a lot of the times it like soaks into my skin and into my foundation and there's not even that much left to brush away, which is what I think makes it so effective and like locks your makeup into place so well. So next up, let's do highlight. I have the Smashbox Spotlight Palette, which is a collaboration with Miss Casey Holmes. She came out with two highlight palettes with Smashbox and there's these really cute little palettes with three different highlights and each of them I believe have different formulas. I think one of them has a little bit more glitter, this one. And they're each different tones of highlight. So this one's more golden, this one's got more pink to it, this one's more rose gold. So let's go ahead and use some of those. We're gonna go ahead and mix the first two and let's apply right on my cheekbone. She pretty, very pigmented, giving us a blinding highlight right off the bat. Let me just blend it in with my beauty blender, press that right into my foundation. I'm gonna also use a little bit there and the dip in my nose, Cupid's bow, put on my chin. I feel like I have to push it in with my beauty blender though because it's kind of just sitting on top of my skin and this is gonna give me a more natural look. But that is blinding, oh my God. So my complexion is basically completely done. I just don't have a setting spray that somebody's collabed with a brand on or made yet. So I don't know, are there any setting sprays that you guys know about that is a YouTuber kind of collab? Let me know, I'd love to try it. So moving on now, let's do brows. This was also very difficult for me to find a YouTuber collab on a brow product, but then I remembered Benefit did kind of do a campaign of putting influencers on some of their brow product packaging. So I remembered Laura Lee, I think had the precisely my brow pencils. So her face is on a bunch of the packages. I will put a picture up right here. So I think that counts. They paired up whatever influencers like favorite Benefit brow product was, which is really, really cool. So we're gonna just say that counts, but let me know down below if there's any YouTuber made brow products. For now, we'll use the Benefit Precisely My. I've always been a fan of this brow pencil because it's such a precise tip. Literally talk about this in almost every video I do my brows. I just find it much easier, you get more control, and I just ride for really precise brow pencils. It also has a spoolie brush on the end of it, which makes it very convenient to just blend in the product into your brow hairs and get a really nice, natural, easy brow. So brows are on, they're looking good. I really like how my brows always turn out with this brow pencil. It's very reliable. I think it's really dope that Benefit used influencers to model and represent their product. And hopefully that's the way we're moving in 2018, 2019. You know, that's the future. So now let's move on to eyeshadow. I have the new Zodiac palette from the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop Zodiac collection that just came out. This is a beautiful palette. And I think the day I got it, I had to try it. I love ColourPop. I love Kathleen. This palette just looked really fun. If you guys follow my Instagram stories, you saw me open it up and go over a little bit about each product in the collection. I usually do that with my PR packages. So if you do like to see brand new makeup when I receive it and my thoughts on it, just make sure you're following me and keeping up with my Insta stories. But today, let's see what we can do with this. So first I'm gonna go in and mix these two shades and let's place that right above the crease and on the outer corner. I'm gonna flick that outwards and just blend. So we've got the same class Classic color pop eyeshadow formula, pigmented, easy to work with, and it's going on beautifully. Next, let's go in with obviously the Libra, cause your girl's a Libra, so I just have to use this shade. So I'm gonna pack that on on my lid and swipe back and forth, blending it into those colors that we just put there. It's a very neutral shade, it's pretty. It's not my favorite, which I'm sad about. It should be, cause it's my sign. Comment down below, what sign are you? I'm just learning now about the Mercury and retrograde stuff, and 
it kind of freaks me out because I definitely believe in like horoscopes and all that stuff. Now let's take the Virgo and we're gonna do a smoky liner, placing that right on my lash line and kind of blending it out and up. So I'm just packing that on. I'm also gonna mix it actually with the Capricorn, this black shade with a little bit of gold glitter in it. And I'm gonna pack that on creating a smoky wing, mostly focusing all the product right close to my lash line and then kind of blending it up and out. So now that I got those nice and blended, let's go in with the Pisces, which is probably my favorite shade in the palette. It's a very soft formula, so just so my brush picks up the pigment better, I'm gonna just wet it, and we're gonna place that right along the lower lash line. It's got a lot of glitter in it. It's very shimmery. Now, instead of swiping back and forth to get the most color payoff, I'm gonna just pack it on. That is a beautiful color. Now I'm gonna mix these two shades again, and I'm gonna place that right underneath that teal color to blend them out. So this teal color is beautiful. I'm loving it, but I wanna make it pop a little bit more, so I'm gonna go in with a product that is not a YouTuber collab. This is the Marc Jacobs Whirlpool Eyeliner. It's like the same kind of teal color and I'm gonna put that right on my waterline. The Marc Jacobs eye pencils are so good. They last so long, even on the waterline. Oh yeah, that looks way better. Now we definitely have a pop of color on our under eye. So eyeshadow is almost done, but I do wanna use another eyeshadow to highlight my inner corner. Let's go in with the Cancer right here, which looks to be the lightest shade in the palette. And I'm gonna just place that right on the inner corner. It actually reflects really pink, which I'm surprised. I thought it was more of like a champagne color, but it's like a rose gold. That's a gorgeous inner corner highlight. Wow. So next up is mascara. I have Brooklyn and Bailey's brand new Lash Next Door mascara. So Brooklyn and Bailey are twins here on YouTube and they came out with their own mascara. So huge congratulations to them because that's huge. I opened this in my Instagram live stream not too long ago and I haven't used it yet, but I'm very excited. So it's got a pretty fat wand, which I like. Let's just go ahead and coat my top lashes with it. I like big wands because it usually means big lashes and volume, but the bristles aren't extremely long or like flimsy. They seem to be wrapping around each of my hairs really nicely and coating them with a lot of product. So it's making them really long, adding volume, but not making them clumpy. My lashes look good. I don't think I'm gonna put any on my lower lashes just because I really want that blue to stand out. So definitely a good first impression. Liking the packaging, it's got some weight to it. Made my lashes look bomb. So yeah, that's Sylvia approved. Loving that. Congrats, Brooklyn and Bailey. And now for false lashes, I have Huda Beauty Scarlet Number no. 8 lashes. I don't know why I had a hard time finding a YouTuber collab with lashes because obviously a lot of YouTubers come out with lashes, but I was like, does Huda Beauty count? She's kind of an influencer, you know? I don't know, but I'm gonna use them. I'm gonna put them on off camera, be right back. So lashes are on. I really love this style. I feel like they made my eyes look super doll-like and like almond shaped because they're really heavy on the outer corner, but loving them. For lips, I wanted to try out the lipsticks that Kathleen came out with with ColourPop for their Zodiac collection. It looks like they have two really nice kind of neutral shades. And I feel like with this eye look, we want a neutral shade. Which one? This one. So I'm gonna use What's Your Sign. I really love this lipstick color. This is like the perfect kind of brownish orangey nude. So I'm feeling it and I feel like it looks bomb with the crease color. Love it. I'm gonna keep this one by my desk because I feel like this is a nude that I could use very often. All right, you guys. So that completes the full makeup tutorial using only products that YouTubers have come out with and I think the makeup turned out amazing. There was nothing that I hated. I actually really liked everything. Maybe the concealer, it's not something that I would normally lean towards because I don't really love cream concealers, but it still looks bomb. It still is a good product. It just was my preference. So that's probably the only thing that maybe I won't reach for often. I mostly did this video because I think it's really dope to support each other and I think it's a very cool thing that now YouTubers and influencers have such a big impact in the beauty industry. They're actually taking what we have to say into consideration for campaigns and that means that you guys are more connected on a personal level to these brands through us. By supporting YouTubers that you really love, they're obviously gonna keep their audience in mind when creating these different collabs and products with these brands. So I feel like you guys are gonna get more of what you want from these brands just cause now they're working with us and obviously we represent you guys. So I'm really glad that this is the path that the beauty industry is going and I can't wait to collab and come out with something of my own for you guys to try. Make sure you leave in the comments down below if there's any other YouTube collabs that you think are a must try. But that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. And after this, hang
hang out a little bit longer, get to know me some more, watch one of my other videos by clicking one of the boxes on the side of the screen here, and I'll just hang out. I'll just hang out while I wait for you to click one of those boxes, because let's be real, you have time for another video. You have time, just click it.